Hey guys, you Audible Scotty coming at you here. This is going to be an unedited video and I'm not going to edit this video. This is really just going to be me talking for a couple minutes here, bringing you guys up to speed. And I want to address something that uh, I recently saw in the news this morning. <clears throat> now, uh, the reason why I'm not going to edit this video is because quite simply, life cannot be edited. Sometimes, you know, things, um, you know, if I'm working on a video, like my last video that I did, that you know, where we went up to Callowit and played a gig, you know, I edited that because I wanted to make a um, a kind of production, you know, something that was um, entertaining for you guys to watch. Um, but that's a certain kind of vibe. But there's also a lot of um, uh, like interesting things that come out of unedited moments. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I really, for me personally, that is what interests me. I am much more interested in things that are uh, not edited and raw because things happen in life that are unexpected. I find that when I'm playing music, sometimes I'll do something on the guitar or whatnot and uh, what's interesting to me is that I may never ever do that particular thing ever again. That may be the only time in my music career that I will do that specific particular guitar move. It's, it was in the moment, um, something that happened in the moment, just in that moment. And uh, those are very, very interesting um, moments for me so for for example i'm down here right now i'm preparing for uh recording in the studio i'm getting all my amps ready i'm getting everything ready i've been working on uh, a double neck part of the reason why i haven't made it made any videos lately is because i've been completely frustrated honestly i have it's been a long time since i've had my patience tested to this extent but this guy here um i have been working on this guitar for the last week and um you know i've i've completely torn it all apart i had big plans for it uh, but nothing worked <laughs> i was actually recording a video to show you guys the process of you know building this guitar not building it but um customizing it for my liking now uh, I wasn't able to do the things that I wanted to do to it because it just didn't really work the way I thought it was gonna work uh, as a matter of fact nothing worked um, so I've been putting this thing together and tearing it apart for like the last um, well week and I've also put a, a lot of money into this thing um, anyways I am getting ready to uh, start recording uh this weekend well i've already started but um i've got some great music coming your way and uh, i'm looking forward to it but so i'm getting my amps ready and and all that kind of stuff um warming up see uh, i've got my uh, i've got my uh svt warming up here that's a 68 Ampeg SVT. I've got an 80s V5 here. I've got two VT22s. I've got uh, 68 Fender Reef Super Reverb and a Roland Jazz Course. Those are only a few of my amps. Um, I'm big into uh, guitar, old guitar equipment. Um, and I guess part of the reason why I'm into this stuff is um, largely because of my my hero. Um, everybody has a hero when they're growing up. My hero, sorry, I'll just show you just really quickly here. My workbench is just completely <laughs> just strewn with guitar parts. Um, it's just a mess in here. It's just a complete mess. Um, there are the old pickups from, from the double neck right there. But honestly, honestly, I've, I've just been going nuts trying to get this, get my double neck working the way I want it to work and so on and so forth. But 
you know, this is life. Sometimes things don't work, work out the way you want them to work out. Anyways, I'm cleaning up. Um, and I'm kind of going off track here and that's okay. That's okay. Cause that's, you know, we're not editing this video. We're just going to let her fly. Um, uh, the, the reason why, you know, I have all this equipment or play music in general is because of, uh, you know, my personal childhood hero, which is uh, Gordy Johnson. He's a Canadian guitar player. And if you don't know anything about Gordy Johnson, you should do some research because, um, in my opinion, he's uh, one of Canada's greatest uh, musicians. Um, he's not just a guitar player. He's a fantastic songwriter, and he is actually highly demanded in demand in the studio as a producer as well. He's produced a lot of really great records with some very big musicians. And, you know, he's just done a lot of really insane things in his music musical career. Um, so, you know, he's, he's a fascinating musician. I mean, he's not, he's, he's not uh, your typical guitar player. He does things in his own way. He's got a very unique approach to the instrument, which really takes a little bit of time to wrap your head around, actually. Uh, you really got to kind of listen carefully, listen and watch, too, because he, he does things in a very, he's got his own thing going on. And um, that's what I, lo I love about his guitar playing. He's not your typical guitar player. That is 100%. For sure and he doesn't write typical music either um so um anyways i'm working on all this stuff right now and you know i wake up this morning and as i usually do i i unfortunately check the news i'm probably going to stop doing that i don't know why i do that because you know, i never really like what's in the news and um, anyways, I come across this um, article about Gordy Johnson and about his um, performance at the recent Jets, Winnipeg Jets game. Um, it was his third time playing the Canadian National Anthem, uh, American and Canadian National Anthem for the hockey game. He's done it, I think, once in 2010, once in 2015, and I guess the a few nights ago was his third time doing it. And um, uh, Big Sugar, his band, actually on one of his albums, and I think I have it in here, uh, called Brothers and Sisters, Are You Ready? Um, actually, Big Sugar uh, arranged the and recorded the Canadian National Anthem. And I'm not sure that uh, any Canadian artists have, have ever really done that. It's a fantastic arrangement. And uh, it was very, very well done. And it's it's just, if you listen to it, it's just fascinating how it's arranged for the guitar. Uh, and I can't figure it out for the life of me. Here it is. Here's the album right here. Brothers and sisters, are you ready? Um, got songs on this one. We got Red Rover. Nicotina is on this album. Um, does a, uh, a little thing with uh, Randy Bachman. Uh, let, he's got Let It Ride. Oh, maybe that's not on. No, that's not on this one. Anyways, uh, the last song on this album, if you see here, is Oh Canada. And um, Oh Canada, right there. So check it out on Spotify. I know none of you guys really have CDs anymore, but I still have all kinds of CDs. I love CDs. listen to them all the time. I think... Um, Still love all my old CDs. But a lot of Big Sugar stuff here, actually. Like, I've got uh, both versions of Heated, French and English, and pretty much every every Big Sugar album ever. I've got more. There's another one down here. I've got, I've got them all. And I've actually got multiple copies of some of these. So anyways, I love, I love my Big Sugar and it's my favorite band, always has been my favorite band. Um, but anyways, on the news this morning, uh, there's some uh, people that are upset about uh, the Gordy Johnson's most recent performance 
performing the Canadian national anthem at the hockey game. And, um, you know, I, I did watch it and I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat things. I, I, I don't think it was his best performance, but, uh, you know, it was still very interesting and I, th and I still liked it. Uh, I still thought it was, it was great. Um, but some people said that it wasn't very good. Um, thing is, what a lot of people don't understand is that Gordy Johnson is actually on tour right now with Big Sugar. Um, and the he has revamped the band and is doing a cross Canada tour. So the, and they've been playing a lot of shows. So I would imagine that, you know, perhaps maybe he was a, a bit tired. Um, uh, you never know, maybe they, they were very rushed to set up the equipment. You just, there's a whole kinds of circumstances and factors that, that uh, we, we just don't know. Um, but, you know, playing guitar in a hockey arena, um, as I've done uh, a couple weeks ago, it's a very challenging thing. There are a lot of aspects to playing an, uh, music in a hockey arena that are very challenging. Um, uh, especially playing on the ice. So, you know, a guitar is really hard to keep in tune and especially really hard to keep in tune uh, outdoors. You know, you the change in temperature, you'd be surprised. You uh, have a guitar indoors, you bring it outside and we're in Canada, right? So we got, you know, if I was to bring my guitar outside right now into the, uh, into this and just start trying to play it, it would be horribly out of tune. And uh, it's no different when you're playing on an, an ice surface in a hockey arena. Things go out of tune. And uh, that's life. Sometimes the guitar is not perfectly in tune. Um, some nights are better than others. For me, as a performer, I'm performing three to four, sometimes five, six. To, I mean, I'm performing every week. And some of my performances are... I'll be honest with you guys, aren't very good. Um, and uh, But I still put them on camera for you guys to watch and uh, alive because um, that's life, you know. Um, even my bad moments, the, they're still interesting. And as a matter of fact, I think it's nice for people to see that. Um, they see that uh, I'm, I'm a human. And I make mistakes and sometimes I sound like shit and that's okay you know um, it's taken me a while to become comfortable with that but that is life and I thought Gordy Johnson's performance at the hockey game was a great performance was it perfect no it wasn't perfect what's perfect anyways what is what does that even mean what's what would be a perfect performance the guitar was a little, his guitar was a little out of tune. I thought he could probably use a bit more gain on his amp. But honestly, it was still very interesting and I still liked it. And I think people these days need to just, um, you know, perhaps we've been conditioned with, um, you know, the modern way of music, uh, about the modern way that we digest music where everything is so produced, everything is so you know, quote unquote, perfect all the time. And guys, that is boring, man. That is boring. If everything was perfect all the time, that would just be boring. Um, I want to see something interesting, something, these unexpected moments, uh, you know, those are th things that, um, that's what makes life interesting and spontaneous. So, so, um, you know, Gordy Johnson is a Canadian legend, and I think um, those people at the hockey game uh, should be really happy that he came and performed the hockey game um, and that he recorded the Canadian National Anthem and did his own arrangement of that. I, I don't see any other Canadian artists being patriotic uh, like that. And, um, that's cool. Um, 
So, I uh, don't usually make videos like this, but I got a little heated under the collar because Gory Johnson's my boy, and I felt I feel like I need to to comment on this latest thing and give my own opinion. So, so yeah, I'm gonna end the video there, and um, I'll be live streaming tonight from Heart and Crown in in Ottawa. It's gonna be me and TJ the Cobras are coming into town and we're gonna play but um you know what all i want to say is that uh good job uh big sugar uh one of the greatest canadian bands to ever uh make music innovators they're um artists and innovators that have created a whole musical sound that has never been created before. Gordy Johnson, very, very, very good guitar player. Um, and I thought his performance of the national anthem was fantastic. And uh, I look forward to seeing more of Gordy Johnson and Big Sugar. And if they ever come anywhere close to Ottawa again, I'll be at that show. So, um, and Big Sugar still making music. After all these years, so very happy that uh, the band is still making music and still going on. Um, and Gordy Johnson, Big Sugar, big up Canadian content. And Canadians better realize that and start chiming in and supporting our own musicians. Because Canada has a really bad habit of just trashing our own artists <laughs> so which may be a bit of the reason why gordy johnson no longer lives in canada he actually moved to austin texas um a long time ago and uh as far as i could see he's having a great time down there and our american friends are treating him possibly better than even his own country so anyways uh that's all I got to say, guys. Um, look forward to more videos, and uh, we'll see you soon.